morning, everybody. Naturally Caffeinated Dale here. Today is Wednesday, the 21st of July, 2021. This is your positive quote of the day. Halfway through the week, nice job. Um, your quote today is from a guy named Charles Darwin, who was a Charles Robert Darwin, English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. His proposition that all species of life had descended from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a fundamental concept in science. Cool. Here's what he had to say. He said, a man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. And I like to go ahead and reflect on this every time someone says, man, I'm so busy. I just don't have the time to do it. Um, I, I like to put this in perspective. I heard this uh, phrase one time. It says, you have the exact same amount of time in a day as Mother Teresa, Elon Musk, uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Gandhi, all these people that maybe have done great things for community, for society, humanity, technology, whatever their field was, you have the exact same amount of time in a day as they have. So we're all on that level playing field. It's about what you do with it. You can say, well, that person had more resources. Well, maybe not Mother Teresa or maybe not Gandhi, and especially not in their earlier phases of life. So even some of the people like maybe Elon Musk or Steve Jobs that have a lot more resources or had a lot more resources um, you know, as their careers progressed, they all started somewhere down here. Um, and specifically with Mother Teresa and Gandhi, um, very humble lifestyle, but all the same amount of time. So understand that what you do with your time is a choice. And if you choose to spend your time with people that you like and you care for, and you enjoy spending time with and they bring value to you um, and they are beneficial, that relationship is beneficial to you in your life, then that's a good thing. But understand that there are some people out there that might be toxic or challenging. Um, and there are times when we need to distance ourselves from those people. And even sometimes when there's people that are close to us, maybe it's a family member uh, that's just really negative and they really kind of bring you down and you have to have a tough conversation with them. Um, but it's that may be tough, that may be hard to do. And sometimes if they can't understand that their behavior is a challenge for you, you need to start spending less time with them or maybe distancing yourself from them. So um, I would simply encourage, that, encourage you to recognize that the time that you have in this world to do things is on a level playing field with all the people that have done amazing things in this world. So there's no reason why you can't go do amazing things. It's what you choose to do with that time. It's how you allocate it. It's um, an investment maybe in your skill set uh, or how you get better at something or the time that you take to make a phone call and ask for help from someone who has a better skill set or resources to help you, et cetera. Um, the time that you're spending kind of flipping through your phone or watching television or Netflix and chilling, I'm not saying that you don't need to do that. Sometimes it's part of uh, ways that people relax. Just understand that maybe that time could possibly be used a little more productively. And I know people that will get really frustrated and they will kind of complain about what's going on in their life. And the amount of time that they spend complaining verbally, online, around friends, whatever, if they took a fraction of that time that they were complaining and actually put it into productive use of maybe bringing up their skill set, getting better at something, having a difficult conversation with someone, et cetera, then that problem would go away on its own. But they choose to allocate that time to negative actions. Uh, versus allocating that time to positive actions that are going to bring you down the right path. Just my two cents, but also something that Charles Darwin said, and he was a pretty smart guy. I want to thank you for watching the channel. Please smash the like button. Kids say that this day, but just tap on it. Uh, it. It gives me some love. It also shows that you're watching the videos. Feel free to write a comment down below if you want to hear anything specific. Um, I do appreciate your support. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.